What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred. Welcome back to another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to the Game Awards 2023 live nominations announcement video. I have not looked through the video. I have, this is going to be my initial reactions to it. And I look so tiny. Let me back up a little bit. So I, I didn't make a whole reaction, uh, like trailer reaction reviews, like cover for this. So I'm just. Again, this is just going to be my raw, raw reactions. I want to get back on the internet, so I am going to hit play. So we can check this out. This is 10 minutes long. Does it just start like this? Oh, there, there goes so Jeff. There we go. Games in 2023. Yes. And on Thursday, December 7th, we will celebrate the best of the best at the 10th Annual Game Awards, streaming live everywhere from right here at the Peacock Theater in Los Angeles. Okay. Jeff Keighley, and it is finally time to reveal the nominees across more than 30 categories and to help select the for the game awards vote in all categories all right now at the game awards and that's what we're gonna do this is going to be a very special tga filled with new game announcements from teams around the world and in the coming weeks we will have much more to share but now okay I am come on let's get into it the task at hand Here yep are the nominees as selected by our voting jury for the Game Awards 2023. 2023, let's go. For best performance. Best performance. Ben Star as Clyde. Ben Star, yeah, 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 yeah. Cal Kestis, I haven't played Survivor. Jedi Survivor, but as Solomon Reed, Cyberpunk okay. Phantom Liberty. I think Clyde. Saga Anderson, Alan Wake I haven't played Alan Wake Two. As a Starian, haven't played Baldur's Gate Three. As Peter Parker, I haven't played Spider Man. I haven't played a lot of games this year. But I, I think um this guy Cyberpunk 2077 Fortnite Final Fantasy 14 Fortnite Fortnite There we go <laughs> the Okay best multiplayer presented by Call of Duty Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, 3. Diablo 4 No Party Come on Modern Warfare 3 Street Fighter 6 and Super Mario Brothers Wonder Mario Brothers Wonder Let's go Okay Art Direction um Mario Brothers That's Wonder? Super Mario yeah! Let's go! Oh! <laughs> Nintendo vs. Nintendo! Um, Tears of the Kingdom. It's kind of hard because there's a lot of quiet. I would say Final Fantasy 16 as well. Well, that is a, a music game. Tears of the Kingdom, though. Tears of the Kingdom. The best audio Nintendo design sound team. Alan Wake 2. Audio design. Marvel Spider-Man 2. Okay. And Resident Evil 4. Woo! This adaptation recognizes excellence in authentically creating shows, movies, and other creative endeavors based okay. on video game worlds and characters. Here are this year's nominees. The best adaptation. Castlevania Nocturne. As if Grinders, <laughs> <laughs> The Last of Us. Mario oh, Mario! Mario versus the um The Last of Us. What? I think The Last of Us takes it. Best narrative. Phantom <laughs> Liberty. Super Mario Wonder. And Marvel's Spider Man. I don't know. I haven't played um any of them too deep. I would say Final Fantasy 16 from what I played. Games for impact. For the unbound. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Volcano High. I heard of it, but never played it. I downloaded it, but never played it. No, and no, no. For best independent game, the nominees best are independent game. Cocoon. Cocoon. The diver. Dave. Dredge. Nope. Sea of Stars. Okay. And Viewfinder. Oh, okay. Mobile game. Uh, Viewfinder and um. Ever Crisis. Ever Crisis. That's gotta win. High Star Rail. Oh Hello, shit! Kitty, <laughs> now. You realize you realize what a uh, like any Genshin Impact style game is might win as well once they drop the name of it. But Final Fantasy is pretty good on the mobile. Baldur's Gate Three. Best community support. Destiny Two. Modern Warfare Three. <laughs> and No Man's Sky. Best community support. I don't even know. I, I would say probably. Best debut indie game that hasn't been on the TGA stage before. In fact, these teams published their first game in 2023. The nominees are Cocoon, Cocoon, Dredge, 
Pizza Tower. Pizza Tower. And Viewfinder. Viewfinder was their first game? What? It's a hell of a first game. Humanity. Best VR game. Call of the Mountain. Call of the Mountain. Resident Evil Village VR mode. And Synapse. Synapse. Content creator That's a of the year. The content creator of the year. People make okay. Okay. Spring. And Cypher. Cypher! Let's go! Cypher Pication win. That'd be cool. Officially announced. The nominees are Cypher PK. That's crazy. Most anticipated. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Star Wars. Final Fantasy. And Tekken 8. Final Fantasy is winning that. Easily. Best action adventure. Marvel Spider Man. Okay. Resident Evil 4. Okay. Star Wars Jedi okay. and the Legend Legends of Zelda. Legends of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, Tears of the Kingdom, the Kingdom wins that for me. Role-playing game. Three. Uh, that's going to win. That has to. Lies of P. Lies of P. Of Stars and Starfield. Huh. I wouldn't even player. put the nominees are Mortal Kombat. God of Rock. Mortal Kombat yep. 1. I picked Mortal Kombat one. All -Star Brawl 2. How is that here that just came out? And Street Fighter 6. Okay. The nominees for best action game are Best Action Robert Games. 6, Fires of Rubicon. Fires of Rubicon. Two. That's a cool name. Ghost Runner 2. Hi-Fi Rush and Remnant 2. Okay. Innovation and accessibility celebrates games that are making our industry available and enjoyable. Best accessibility game? Spotify Probably Spider-Man. of accessibility experts. This year's nominees for innovation and accessibility are Diablo 4, Forza Motorsport. I haven't played all of these games Rush, to, like, say. Marvel's Spider-Man 2, Mortal Kombat 1, and Street Fighter 6. Next Mortal Kombat 1? When does Mortal Kombat 1 have Zone. that for accessibility? Disney Illusion Island. Okay. Party Animals. Super Mario. Sonic Superstars. And Super Mario, Mario Wonder. Wonder. Yep. The best sim strategy That's going to win it for me. Advance Wars 1 and 2. Oh, Camp. thank God. <laughs> Getting some acknowledgement. Company of Heroes 3. Fire Emblem Engage. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they lost. <laughs> they lost. Fire Emblem won. <laughs> best sports racing. Best sports racing. FC twenty four. F one twenty three. Forza okay. Motorsport. Forza. Hot Wheels Unleashed two turbocharged. And the Crew Motorfest. Okay. Now a look at our esports categories, starting with best esports. Best esports. Game. The nominees are Counter Strike two, Dota two. Maybe League of Legends, uh, Valorant, PUBG Mobile, and Valorant. Okay, Valorant's here, but probably um, Counter Strike too. Baker, Hydra, okay, Imperial Hal, Ruler, and Zywoo. For best <laughs> Don't know any team, of them. Our committee nominated these teams. Teams. Evil geniuses, Valorant, Fanatic, Valorant, Game and Gladiators, Dota 2, okay, JD Gaming, League of Legends. And Team Vitality Counter Strike. The Jesus Christ! Okay. These are Potter, Homie, Homie, Ecstasy. He's just and making up names. <laughs> finally, the nominees for best esports event. Best esports event. Twenty three League of Legends World Championship. Last TV Paris Major twenty twenty three. Evo 2023. Evo. The International Dota two Championships twenty twenty three, and. Valorant Champions 2023. All right, you ready? It's time for our final two categories. Final two? Best Game Direction, which recognizes extraordinary creative vision and innovation in game direction and design. Okay. This year's nominees are... Game Direction. Alan Wake 2. Okay. Baldur's Gate 3. Okay. Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Okay. Super Mario Brothers Super Mario Wonder. Brothers Wonder. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right. Game of the year. I am proud to announce Let's go. Let's go. Selected for outstanding creative and technical excellence. The nominees for Game, game of, of the, the year, year at the Game Awards are Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2. Gravity Entertainment. Baldur's Gate 3 from Larry Baldur's Studios. Gate 3. Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Okay. Games. 
Resident Evil Resident 4, Evil 4. Super Mario Brothers okay. Wonder from Nintendo. Wonder? And Wait. Legend of Zelda oh. Tears of the Kingdom from Nintendo. No, no Starfield! <laughs> Let's <laughs> <get it. laughs> No Starfield! No Jedi! No... What? That's insane! People are tight now. The TGA Orchestra will be back on this very stage, and as always, we'll pay tribute to... No Harry Potter at all! And yes, you can expect... No Harry Potter at all! That's crazy! 2024 and beyond. So lock in your votes and get ready to celebrate 10 years of the Game Awards. No Harry Potter, no COD. December 7th. That's crazy. That's legit. That's that's crazy. Okay, start voting. Game of the year. Recognize what I, what's going to be my game of the year. Has to be Zelda. Has to be Zelda. Has to be. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, yep. Best game direction. I want to say Zelda as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to say Zelda. Zelda deserves it, bro. Keep voting. Next category. And Zelda, to me, surpasses a lot of stuff this year. Um, best was this best narrative. I haven't played Alan Wake nor Spider Man. I'm gonna give it a Final Fantasy though, just because the story got me hooked from the little of a little bit of of it that I did play. Best art direction. I'm gonna give it to uh. I don't like the art in uh um. Tears of the Kingdom. I do think the, I mean, some of it is cute, is good, but I do think um, Mario Brothers Wonder, the art in it is incredible. Mario looks incredible in that game. Best score and music. I'm gonna have to give that to Final Fantasy, because again, from what I played. Best audio design. Ooh. Okay. 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 The little bit of the only game I played a little bit would be Resident Evil, so I'm gonna give it to that. Uh, but it was just too scary for me. <laughs> uh, but I do want to go back and play it. I am gonna give it to Ben, Ben Star, for Final Fantasy. Uh, that's the homie. I've, I've, I have to. <laughs> Best uh innovation and accessibility. I don't really know. I want to give it to Mortal Kombat. But I don't really know what they did in the game that made it uh, not nominatable, whatever, you know. But I do love Sony's track record with, like, how you can make it accessible. Um, I'm not the guy for the accessible topic, so but I am going to um, nominate Spider-Man for that. But because Sony just holds it down and does their thing. Um, games for Impact. Uh, don't know any of these games, to be honest. Um... I do know the story of Chica. Um, is there a skip button? I wish there was. Is there a skip? Is there a way to skip? So I'll just vote. Next. Uh, I'm going to vote for Chica. Because I, I, I downloaded it. I didn't play it. But again, the story of it is what compelled me to download it best. Ongoing game. Gonna go. Got to vote Fortnite. Fortnite OG, man. Got to go for it. I gotta, I gotta give it to Fortnite. Fortnite is at an incredible um, spot right now. Best community support. No Man's Sky. Nah. Final Fantasy Destiny 2. Cyberpunk. What is it? It says recognizing a game for outstanding community support, transparency, responsiveness, inclusiveness, and <laughs> social media patch updates. Maybe Boulder's Gate? I'm gonna give it a BG. BG? Hold this gate. BG3. Just because, again, that was like a, a kind of indie team. And the way they dropped it and the way they, like, pushed the game forward so it did not, like, drop 
on the same day as Starfield, and it was like trying to get away from games was kind of interesting. Again, kind of transparent, trying to like in the community, like letting the community decide type of vibe. So I, I, I dig that best independent game. Um, I'm gonna give it to Sea of Stars again, another game that I intended to play, but again, a lot of good games came out this year. I downloaded it. it's on my PS5. I haven't touched it yet. Actually, that that's one of the games that I might not even like make video content for. But I'm going to play on the portal once I get my the portal in December. Um, what is this best debut indie game? I'm gonna give it a viewfinder. Uh, just because that game is incredible, and the fact that this is their it like debut and they did that, they they deserve it. Um, best mobile game, gonna give it to Final Fantasy. Um, just because it's Final Fantasy, <laughs> and it it. it it, it there's a lot of bad things about that game, but there's a lot of good in that game as well. Best VR, AR. I'm not a huge VR guy. Um, didn't play Humanity, Resident Evil Village. Did play, but not in VR. Gran Turismo Seven didn't play. Call of the Mountain didn't play. I, the the fact that Sony supported uh, VR with a full game that that's that's the only reason why i'm voting call of the mountain but again i haven't played it but i'm not the vr guy but i i support when sony when a video game company supports something else i i give them the kudos for that and so i give sony the kudos for at least trying they're like the only one of the three that has a vr headset native to their platform and so i i i, I give them the coins for that best action game um here's here's a hard part i haven't played any of these however if we did have to vote i might have to go armor car wouldn't be my game that i two wouldn't be there i'm gonna probably go high fi rush um i haven't played it but this is one that made me want to go oh i should get xbox game pass for this so again uh, I'm gonna grab that. It's just not all the way down. Wow. Keep going. Best action adventure game. Ooh, I'm gonna have to give it a tears because I do think tears is better than all these games. <laughs> oh my god, best action adventure. I mean, if it doesn't win game of the year, it probably win better than action adventure. But I do think that Tears of the Kingdom is gonna win game of the year. Best RPG. I'm gonna. I'm leaning to see a stars, even though Final Fantasy. This is the thing. Final Fantasy 16 is that a RPG? It felt more like an action game. Like, yes, it's Final Fantasy. I should vote for Final Fantasy. Yes, spy. Best RPG, Final Fantasy. There it goes. <laughs> Just for the giggles. Uh, best fighting game. I'm gonna um go with MK. I think MK is better than uh, Street Fighter Six. And what else did I play? I think that may be it for fighting games. Best was this. Uh, best family, of course. Super Mario Wonder is gonna be my vote. Um, I think overall it's better than anything that's on that. This game is also nominated for Game of the Year, and it's a family game. I think it should win Best Family Game. Um, best Sim Strategy Game, just cause. Uh, I'm not voting um, th just because it's it's up here. It's nominated. Advance Wars 1-2 Reboot. I got to vote for that just because just it's nominated and it's up here. Uh, I'm giving it its flowers. Best sports sports racing RPG. Um, not RPG. Best, best sports slash racing game. Um, not FIFA. Not EA. Not FC. I said not FIFA, not F1, not FC. Um, I want to see the... I haven't played the crew. I'm going to go Hot Wheels on that one. Best sports racing game. Best sports racing game. Best multiplayer. Ooh, I'm going to go with Mario Wonder. Just because I had the most... I, I, it's the funnest multiplayer that I had with my daughter and my son. This year, hands down, it's so fun. Um, best adaptation. This is a tough one. Mario was incredible, made me cry. So did The Last of Us. I think I'm going towards The Last of Us. Just because the, the way this show 
this show nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. 10 out of 10. I would say Mario is a 9 out of 10. So I think there was stuff that um, Mario could do better, but I think The Last of Us nailed it perfectly. The most anticipated game, I think Final Fantasy, hands down. Yeah. Not Tekken, not Hades, not uh, anything else. Most anticipated. And I think that's it. Or, nope. Consecrator, I'm giving it a scythe. Cypher deserves that. He's been going hard his whole career. I think it'll be dope if he actually wins. Best eSport game. Um, uh, it's kind of hard because I wanted Counter-Strike or Valorant. I'm going to give it a Counter-Strike 2 because this game out the gate. Um, like making a part 2 to something that epic and it being like a smooth transition over it was pretty cool. Best um, esports athlete. Don't know any of these athletes, I want to say. And it doesn't say what. Yeah, it does say what they play. This guy plays Call of Duty. League of Legends. Oh, I got to go with Call of Duty. There you go. He gets it. Just because he plays Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's why I'm voting for him. <laughs> Best esports team Valorant, Valorant, Dota, League of Legends, Counter Strike. Hmm. Um, I'm, I'm going to go uh, Counter Strike team. I want to go with Valorant. Let's go with Valorant. Let's take a Valorant team. I don't know. Evil Geniuses. Let's go with them. <laughs> just throw them a random love you know best esports coach you got valorant counter-strike overwatch counter-strike league of legends valorant um where's this what's this guy no this is homie sonic let's go with sonic even though he looks like a fucking let's go with valorant they look hype in that picture <laughs> It looked like they're really into it. Best eSport event. Um, again, I haven't... I'm going to go with Evo. That's the only event that I would actually, like, attend in real life. Uh, keep voting. Close. That's it. That is it. That's all she wrote. Close. Next. There is no next. That is all the categories. Link is going to be below where you can vote. Let me know what you will vote for in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I love you guys. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. And yes, I will be reacting to the Game Awards 2023. Peace. See you in December.